if they really play as a toddler. Well, All right. So, welcome back to another evening of Adventures in Calternia. Um, for those who don't know, episode three of our podcast with our final character introductions went live today at 12 o'clock. You can find that over on Podbean or wherever you enjoy podcasts. I don't remember what the band is. Look, I fucked this up. There we go. Um, so, episode three went live. Um, again, we release episodes every Monday at noon. Um, and you can find them on Podbean, Spotify, as well as Apple and Google Podcasts, and soon coming to Pandora. Um, in terms of other announcements, we have some new features available in our Discord. Um, for folks who subscribe to us here on Twitch, as well as those who support us through Ko-Fi memberships, um, you will gain access to some early peeks at NPC art. Uh, you'll also get to see character and NPC journals for what folks are doing in their off time and see some story beats that might uh, give you hints of what's coming down the line. I think that is actually all of the... No, I lied. I got one more announcement. Um, this Saturday, from 1 to 6 p.m. Eastern, we will be hosting our High Council at Gordranus game. It is a political intrigue game. Uh, going to be mostly RP with a little bit of combat featuring Brassic Arts from Twitter. Now... All of that out of the way. Welcome back, players, to another fun evening. Let me make sure I get you all set on the right Hello? Yeah, I do. Okay. Hello. Hello. Just happy to be here. Greetings, land dwellers. So it is Hi, the middle of the day after you have been pushed off of the tall spire by Krognalar. And have split up into your separate paths. So we are going to start with Zira and Sam, who have made their way to the training course for sneaking. I'm sneaky, sneaky. sneaking. And you see that there is a familiar, to you at least, elven woman, Sam, who just looks at you and is. Very disdainful. Great. How do I know her? Uh, you saw her last night. This is the elven woman that peeked out of the tent. Kind oh. of looked over the party and was like, mm, no. <laughs> I take my hat off my head and put it over my chest and give a small sarcastic bow. There's a, there's a big smirk on my face. She and just... Walk away. And steps ahead of you into the forested area where you can see Aranzire, the half demon that you met, and an orc that was accompanying you at the storytelling event. And she looks at both of them. She's like, Can we just get this over with, please? I've passed this test so many times, I don't understand why I need to do this more. Why are you still here? She's not talking Who to you. Who said that? Who said that? Yeah. Who, who, who said what? that? <laughs> the Sam looks around. Still a very good point. <laughs> My sister's very loud and her voice carries. Oh, that there. makes sense. Uh, I can hear everything too. <laughs> and uh, Aaron Zyre says, that's, that's quite enough. You know why you have to keep doing this. Perhaps if you were friendly, we wouldn't have these situations. Oh, how about a friendly race? I believe perhaps for the lot of you, and looks very pointedly at the elf, you'll be working with Venetia here. Now, mind you, we have had some troubles in the past where 
She is less than cooperative. Oh, I'm I'm sure she'll be fine, right? She okay. had better. She just looks at the ground. She won't even make eye contact. Sam like walks up underneath her and looks up. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sam. <sighs> I am Venetia, and I suppose I will be tolerating your presence today. It's a pleasure to be tolerated. Wonderful. Are you at least quiet? Uh, it depends on who you ask. Well, we you're not, not doing a very good job right now, are you? Sam just, like, clamps the metal hand over their mouth. <laughs> Very well. Uh, let's just get on with it. Okay. Oh. And then the slams hand back on mouth. And uh, Boloa is a very large orc that you guys saw at storytelling event and is very excitedly like clanging his axes together like whoops we're doing this right we got it all right so here's the deal the three of you have five minutes go hide or i'm going to hit you <laughs> sam like doesn't even wait for another thing just charges like ah <laughs> and uh, go ahead uh, just curious, what are the rules for holding your breath in 5e? Uh, you can hold your breath for a number of minutes equal to 1 plus your constitution modifier. Hmm. And we have 5 minutes? You have hide? 5 minutes to hide. Uh, Sam is going to try to climb up this tree. I was going to climb up a tree. I mean, there are lots of trees. trees. There's so many trees. For the folks but, at home. But I want to climb is, up the taller tree. This is the training area as I pass through a building. There's a wide range of trees, rocks, and small swampy areas that you're pretty sure... What you're doing here is a mixture of stealth and survival training. Because the mud and wet ground is very likely to capture your tracks almost perfectly, and five minutes is not enough time for them to fade. Although there are a number of small trees, many of the rocks are covered in moss, so touching them could lead to disturbances and very obvious pathways for how these two trainers can find you. Okay. And uh, Aaron Zyre is like, your goal is to work together. We have to catch you. You should be hidden. However, if spotted, you need to gate your way through this gate before we can touch you. It is highly encouraged that you coordinate with one another. And Bolowa is like, no, don't, I mean, if you're going to do it, do it, but I'm going to get all of you. Sam just smirks, flips up their hat, says, okay, uh, so do you go outside while we talk or we have to talk in front of you or? No, if you'd like privacy, we can wait just beyond the gate here. Thank you. Hey, Sarah, come in. What do you want? Come here. What? Okay, <laughs> so I think what we need to do is uh, we either need to, like, all walk in a single file path and then take turns jumping out of the mud onto, like, a tree and trying to climb it. That way we can kind of hide our footprints. Or uh, maybe we go on the grass along the side to try to hide our footprints a little better. Hmm. Which do you think would be the better option? 
I look at the elf that's passed this so many times. I'm like, do you do you have any suggestions? You seem to have done well. Oh, okay. And she immediately walks off. Like she has no interest in coordinating with people. Uh, <laughs> like, okay. Uh, Sorry. Okay. Uh, do you want to go? Up a, you want to go up a tree, right? Yeah, I want to go up a big tree. Okay. So uh, follow in my footsteps behind me. And Sam will like like make a point of like stomping heavily into the mud okay wait aren't my feet bigger than yeah theirs? so just 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 follow behind me and your feet will cover mine oh that that that's smart <laughs> <laughs> or there was one set of footprints is where sam carried you <laughs> ah. if uh, only you could if only the two of you could fly Sam turns and fires their pepper box into the sky to shoot a bird out. <laughs> <laughs> their inoperable pepper box. Yeah, your inoperable pepper box. Sarah, are you coming? Yeah, I'm coming. I, I don't see you. you gotta Where'd move you go? your mini, buddy. Well, my screen just loaded. All right, so while you two take a minute to go hide, we are going to zoom over to the library. Having and fun isn't hard when you have a library card. That's true. <laughs> the libraries are where it's at. Your friend. Outside of game, fucking go support your local libraries, folks. Yeah. There's so much knowledge there, and librarians are fucking amazing. Read a fucking book. Yeah, read a fucking book. Bowl. They got resources there. They have ebooks. Some of them have video games. I know you like video games. You're watching Hard Twitch, you? Love video Just games. Go touch, go touch grass. Go touch grass. My, <laughs> my local library has audiobooks that I can rent, which is always nice. Wow. Oh, if you if you have a local library that participates in Libby, you can download the app and they have a whole bunch of audiobooks. We're not sponsored by them, but it's it's cool. <laughs> yeah, we're not sponsored no, by any library. I'm just but... sharing uh, one of my favorite apps to you. Go to the go to the fucking library. Yeah, All right. that's that's the <clears throat> anyway, story right now. Back to yeah. the game. <laughs> so education. Stepping in to the library, you see Rockus Joros. Yulia and waffles. Look at all these books. Frickin' waffles. Mm. There are huge piles of books on tables, and as you look upstairs, almost ringing the entire top floor of the building is bookcases. There's ladders set in the corners that will allow you to go up, and you can see a lizard folk standing over an assortment of pages that especially looks at you, Joros, is like, welcome. I see, I see you carry her mark. What do you know of the river goddess? Well, it's nice to meet you too, friend. I am Joros. Um, I am a recent steward of Solara. I know admittedly very little. She called to me and, uh, most unusual fashion, but here we are. I was wondering if you could point me in the right direction, my friend. I see, I see. Well, it depends on what direction you would like, but I have written quite the treatise about her. Jarvis is going to, like, hide this lizard folk up and down. Uh, who might you be? Uh, my name is Duzelza. I, well, I can't quite say that I am her servant, but... I worship many gods, and you see, as they lean their shield out, there is just every insignia of a non-evil deity like carved in. Like a NASCAR in. jacket, like just sponsored. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Like, <laughs> just patches of all the deities. Impressive. Uh, I, I would love to read your treatise or any other information that you could provide to me. Uh, the basics to the advanced to places of worship, anything. Uh, excellent, excellent. We we have we have a, a small. Well, I oh, wait. Did I take it apart? As uh, they look around the room, uh, perhaps I dismantled the altar. Uh, I I do believe there was some 
concern about all of the, the gods being on the same altar, but it's no matter. If there's one you wish to worship, find an open table, and I shall guide you in meditation. And uh, Very well. Or else we'll just find, uh, we'll take this, you know, little table back here. Okay. And uh, sitting isn't really a thing in Tailspire, but nope. here we go. And just kind of notices the rest of you, and is like, oh, hello, a a additional friends. What is it that you seek knowledge on? I seek all the knowledge. Well, I, I don't know if you can have <laughs> all of it, but I can share you with you what I know. No, Peebo, I won't ask him. Uh, say, you wouldn't have happened to have any tombs on the Archwizard Gilford, you? Archwizard Gilford. Archwizard Gilford. Uh, yes, I, well, it's not a tome, per se, but there's this little wobbly crystal thing. <gasps> Where? Where uh, just up those <laughs> stairs in the, in the northern corner of the building. North! Hey, Bo. <laughs> Show me north. Oh, I seem to be stuck in a wall. Oh, yeah, where did you go? <laughs> I just watched you go through the window. <laughs> it was like, classic Peebo. <laughs> totally Peebo. Peebo and all over the place. That's oh, what wait, I wait, call Peebo. Oh. Peebo's falling out of his pockets. <laughs> oh, no. Ah, oh, there I am. Okay. Thank you. That was weird. Peebo everywhere. <laughs> Librarians come up with a lot of things, apparently, like getting it out of a wall. Is yep. this north? Yes, yes, that's north. It's, it should be on that bookshelf right there. Peebo, find it. And I throw Peebo at the bookshelf. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> and Peebo begins to sprint around, digging through books. Peebo, 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 Peebo. <laughs> although nobody else can see the real activity and they just assume it's you, Yep. Uh, Peebo rummages through the books and eventually begins to drag out this small light blue stone. Peebo, look at what you have. Mm. Give it here. <laughs> I will take a mm. little stone. And you just hear Peebo, but you didn't pay your taxes. <laughs> Peebo. <laughs> mm. I shall people. look this over, but do not tempt me further. Just Come so I back can in know, your pocket. It, is Peebo, what is Peebo exactly? Like, I, I, <laughs> no, no, I want this to be a mystery as long as possible. All right, all I right. I honestly want this to stay. Uh, I, saw yeah, the little, Peebo. I saw the little turtle on the token. I don't know if that's Peebo or... It's a misdirection. Oh, Joe's God, like trying to that. look over from the table. Uh, like, what the fuck you, is going on? You just see me just take Peebo and just like... Chuck him into my shirt. <laughs> I'm gonna take oh. the stone and just take a look at it. Okay. Mm. And and you, little little furry friend, what is it that you seek here? I've seen thieves. I've seen thieves that can that can cast magic hands and and steal stuff with it. Can you teach me how to do that? You mean like this? And uh, she casts mage hand and cats yeah. you on yeah. the head. Like that one, except it can take stuff. Oh, you mean like this? And is now holding <laughs> your bedroll. Oh, where'd you get that? Well, <laughs> I, I can teach you, but it, I'm afraid it does take quite some time. Perhaps start with... And uh, turns back, rummaging around the collection of papers that litter this fucking desk. Some of them are just covered in nonsense like it looks like the work of a conspiracy theorist i start making a terrible attempt to help and use my little hands to just start pulling up papers that i think might be relevant does it, does it say pepe silva on it no this one? <laughs> no it does not <laughs> no, well, just hear me screaming up here people who is <laughs> yeah and uh waffles they hand you a small dark leather manual it's like this has some some information about being an excellent thief and if you look in the back 
at page 294, there is a special section on using magic to be a sneaky thief. <laughs> Ooh. It's like a picture book. <laughs> yeah, pretty is much. It yeah. To, is it how to thief for dummies? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> but, uh, no, we, there are no dummies if you're in the library. You have sought learning. Say too. <laughs> that's literally what the books say. Uh, I grab it really quickly and get pretty excited. Is there anything no. on the book? Like, is there any like markings or anything? How to steal for casuals. Um, <laughs> so looking at the book, no, but touching the front cover, you can feel like an, the symbol of an embossed dagger that you wouldn't notice without like, it's so finely crafted in. Cool. Okay. Uh, I thank them. Thank you. You're you're welcome. And and what of you, friend? You, what is it that you seek? I don't know, actually. Uh, I rummage through my pack and I take out whatever Bible equivalent that weird commune that I came from had regarding suburban. I was always told that this was the only book I would ever need. I. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> one of those I, I don't often say this now dear books should be respected however if you would kindly throw that in the fireplace <laughs> oh my god I have much better things for, uh, you're from wave meat aren't you yeah how did you know yeah yes how did I know? <laughs> Are you on Rumspringa? Is that what's like going on? <laughs> you know what? That, no, I'm on mission, so this is more like Mormons oh, than anything. Oh, uh, I, hope it's, I hope we get Book of Mormon. I hope we start singing. <laughs> so, just if you'll discard that book, I, I will promise you I have others that will be more useful. Don't burn the book. Yes, yes. We're not there. Isn't We're burning books sure. antithetical to what you're trying to do here? I listen. The knowledge contained in that book is is not knowledge. It's poison of thought. Oh, now we're banning books, huh? <laughs> Where does it end? I'm I'm just saying that that book will teach you the wrong things and lead you astray from the winged one's path. So you're telling me my entire life was a lie? No, no, no. I would never say that. I'm sure your town and family are quite lovely. I hear Zira cackle, even though she's nowhere near me. Shit, I should have started with you. <laughs> Just, uh, please, uh, I will take that book off your hands for safekeeping, and I will trade you and hands you a stack of factually accurate religious novels. Are any of them about Suburban? Um, there is a mixture of various gods. Suburban does appear in them, but it's going to take you some time to read through. Oh, man, with my third grade reading level... <laughs> This is getting uh, real sad real quick. Yeah. Kibo can teach you. Rolls have a yeah. breakdown in the Kibo is just gonna <laughs> Kibo is just gonna come and help me learn how to read better. <laughs> but it's completely wrong. <laughs> well, friend. Don't, don't listen to Pebo, he doesn't know about taxes. Perhaps I can teach you additional things. And uh, begins to go over the books with you. Okay. As we go back to Sam and Zira. All right. Sitting in a tree. So no. Sam and no. Zira, have you found your hiding place? I was going to help boost Zira up this tree. Okay. Um, so in terms of controls, if you click on your token mm -hmm. and hold down contr left control, because it has to be left control. Okay. You can raise yourself up and down. Oh, 
Ooh. You can fly. You can actually fly. Right. It won't let me oh. stay up. That's because you are interacting with the tree. Oh. <laughs> no? What? Even... Oh, to like stand on top of it. Okay. Yeah, so you have to go around the bottom of the tree to get on top. Got it. Do we what? need to make any sort of check to climb it or just good to go? No, all the of the trees here, like you have five minutes to do this. Okay. And all of the trees here are pretty heavily limbed. Like it is designed specifically for you to be able to make your way around. What was the elf person's name that was in here with us? Uh, the elf that's in here, her name is Venetia. Venetia. Yeah, I remember Denise for some reason. Yeah, she's pompous as fuck. Okay. Uh, so Sam is going to help, uh, Zira up, and then, uh, hop off the grass and hide behind this tree. I thought you were going to climb a tree. You don't have enough time to climb a tree. In my head, not after we, like, do oh. this slowly, methodically walking uh, in each yeah. other's steps, then helping you up now. And what this way I can also do? cheese it so they don't catch you. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Did you go through the bottom? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, hang on. I gotta find Zira. You could set them as flying uh, gum. Um, uh, apologies. <laughs> I was trying to make her move. It's okay. Some of the uh, squares in Tailspire, if they're too close, being open like if i didn't put one underneath where they would join mm -hmm. it freaks out okay all right oh. so you're going up this tree uh yeah. yes big one where'd you go where'd you go oh there she is okay my character Okay, you're up that tree, and then Sam, did you find a hiding spot? Yep. Okay. So, for the two of you, what is your individual stealth bonus? Uh, plus three. My screen's loading, sorry. That's okay. Not plus six? Oh, damn, okay. And uh, you can all hear a voice from the opening gate. All right, time's up. And the heavy footsteps as Bolowa just starts charging the fucking trees and slams into the first one. And although it is a good distance from where you're at, as uh, he is 90 feet from you, Sam, you can feel the reverberation as the tree shakes. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, Boloa, but you're supposed to give them a chance. They had their chance. And charges the next tree in line. Oh, my God. And actually, I need to roll a d20. Oh, no, I'm good. I got one more tree. So, as they are approaching, charging tree to tree, is there anything either of you would like to do? Uh, hold on for dear life, and... Uh... <laughs> uh, do, can I see which way they're heading? I can't uh, see the token because of the way the trees interact. So they are currently at the eastern edge. Okay. And uh, you hear a scream. Okay. <laughs> uh, when I hear the scream, oh, I am yeah, going to uh, move. I'm going to go grab some mud and try to throw it at the person that just charged the tree to like try to blind them. Okay. And all this mud singing going on. Yes. 
so basically uh i'm trying to move to like this tree over here these like this marshy place okay grab some uh dirt along the way and chuck it at their face okay and what's your deck score uh, my next score is 17, so plus three. Okay. Yeah, you can, you are more than capable of scooping up a handful of mud and flinging it along. And you hear Venetia hit the ground and look over at where the mud came from. I don't need help from the likes of you. Okay. And then I just throw another one. And begins sprinting towards you. Uh, so, do you know where the other one is? Is he at the gate? Should we try to cheese it, or should we play a little uh, ring around the rosy with the other one? I'm not ah. here to help you. Oh, you're here to help me? Or you don't want to help me? I'm confused. No. Boloa is right here. They're right here. <sighs> Sam, look what you did! <laughs> <laughs> so... Sam, you have your opportunity to escape. And Zira, yep. you can assist if you so choose. I'll help, yeah. They need all the help they can get, right? <laughs> so Thank at you. the moment, Boloa is about to capture Venetia. This bitch, Denise. That bitch, Denise. <laughs> so uh, they remembered. Is there anything I can... Can I throw mud in this man's face to blind him? Yeah. All right. Um, you want me to roll for it? And well, give me a quick perception check. Okay. Uh, like it's you're just good. My wisdom, right? Yeah, you're good on winging mud at this man. Uh, plus two for wisdom because I assume I don't have proficiency in perception yet. So a thirteen. Okay. Um, so you are able to see. I'm gonna use my ruler. Enter. Yeah. This is okay. That is where Aranzair is. Now, he just shakes his head. Bola, what we talked about this. You're supposed to give them a sporting chance. <sighs> Nevertheless, and uh, you see a spattering of colors appear on Venetia's outfit. As Aranzair has cast Press the Digitation to immediately soil her clothing. Uh, oh. Just, uh, how dare you? Do you know how much I paid for this outfit? You will be cleaning this, you know. And Zero, what would you like to do? Uh, is it possible to take uh, sticks from the tree and throw it at them? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, and with you, with your current stealth bonus. Mm hmm. Um, you're able to snap them off quietly enough that they don't immediately draw attention as you're breaking the things. Okay. Do I and need to roll for anything? What's your deck score? It is... 15? Plus 2? Okay. Um, no, you're good. So you are able to get Boloa um, about the same time that Sam hits him with a mud ball in the face. Uh, you get a set of twigs that just kind of stick into the mud, looking like fake <laughs> horns on his forehead. <laughs> oh, that's the wrong mini. And uh, Aran Zyre begins to escort Venetia out to the front gate as she has been caught. So, you have a free round between the two of you to do what you would like as uh, Boloa is stuck trying to clean himself up. Uh, let's see. I'm going to... I did not mean to go up there. I wanted to go... Wait, let me down. Let me down. This was 25 feet. I'd like to, like, dive behind the rocks and try to rehide while he's looking, maybe hoping that he was where, you know, I was over there near that other tree. So I'm just going to, like, 
uh, slide for a base basically behind these rocks and hope I'm small enough that with the mother's eyes. Okay. Notice. So let's get a perception check for Bolo. Fail. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you are able to sneak your way out and dive behind the rocks. Yeah. And Zira, yeah. you can actually have you have eyes on Sam at this moment. As Bolua not only charges in, but failing to completely clear his face, gets stuck in this small water pit swamp area. So it is up to the two of you now what you would like to do. Zira, do you, do you see the other one? Um, I can look around. They went towards see. the gate. Let's see, can I see? Let me see. Your demon, I see. Your line of sight. You would not be able to see their current location. Oh, man. Sorry, Sam, I can't see. It's okay. Uh, I'm going to keep moving. I think if they try to chase me around long enough, you can just run out the clock. Oh, you don't have to survive for five minutes. Oh, yeah. I'm I'm trying to cheese it out of here, but I'm okay. assuming that like they're going to come back for me in a second. Oh, so, yeah. You know. So uh going to go. So they don't know where I am, right? They don't know where you are. Ooh. Um, And they are currently investigating the wrong location for Sam. And Venetia has already been caught after pointing out Sam's location. Yeah, so I'm going to go between these two trees over here and uh, just tuck in again. So, like, it would have taken me a move action to stand up. I move 25 feet and then fall prone as a Okay, tree, I guess. And uh, from where you are, you can see Aranzire off to your left. All right. Uh, I'm going to, like kind of like point my arm in that direction to Zira so she knows what's up. Okay. And then up. Oh. All right. So as Bolwa rages, he is unfortunately unable to free himself from the shitty spot he got himself into, but his face is now clear and begins to look around more. I'm gonna find all of you! Mm. And uh. Aaron Zire makes his movement. But does not see you, Sam. Ooh. Never punished. I imagine Sam's just wearing a ghillie suit right now. <laughs> no, it's just sheets of mud. <laughs> Get the Metal Gear music playing. Yeah, cardboard right. box. Are we going like full Rambo right now? Uh, I was thinking more Arnold Schwarzenegger and Predator. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sam and Zero, you have a moment to yourself. Mm -hmm. As Aaron Zire has not spotted anyone and Bolua is occupied, if you would like to make a break for it. Uh, I'd like to find any sort of rock nearby me, and then I want to throw it at these rocks over here to make a sound. The big boulder pile in the middle next to this, between these two ponds. You want to throw it here? Yes. Okay. Ideally, like, kind of on, hang on, I don't know if you can, like, over on this side of it a little bit. Okay. From my angle. So, like, so you want to wing it off. around? Yeah, so like from where I am, hang on, let me see if I can. Uh, I want to try to hit it here so that it goes like that way. You know what I'm saying? Ricochet. Okay. Um, make a dexterity check for me to see if you can do this. Okay. And Zira, is there anything you would like to do? Uh, that'll be a 10. I'm going to spend my inspiration. Okay. The d6. Uh, no, so inspiration in this allows you to re-roll a d20. Oh, uh, okay. You're mm. the inspiration. That's, eh, you know what? Let's go. 
Let's go. <laughs> seven. Classic. Classic meme right there. All right. So with them double sevens, then yep. I'm gonna take. Oh, I, can I not take your dice? Why you take uh, his dice? No, 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 no. Dice. You manage to hit the rock here, but it lodges in some mud right there. Hopefully, still good enough. And begins to draw Aaron Zyre's attention as he moves to investigate. I'm going to try to quietly stand up so that I can cheese it next time. Okay. And then, Zira, you are still up in the tree as Bolwa appears to be stuck and Aaron Zyre is drawn off towards the sounds of Sam's rock throw. Do you want to try to climb down from the tree, or are you hanging tight for a minute? How much longer do we have in this area? So there's no time limit in the area. You have okay. five minutes to hide, uh -huh. and now your only goal is to escape without either of them catching you. Hmm. Oh, I thought they had five minutes to try to find us. That's nope. why I was... Oh, okay. Whoops. Well, if he's trying to find Sam then I have time to at least move to a different hiding location, right? Yeah. You have a pretty clear path off to the eastern side of the map. Okay, oh I'll, I'll go that way. Jump from tree to tree like a badass. <laughs> you could attempt to jump from tree to tree. I, I don't have... I'm not very good at acrobatics, but oh, I, okay. I have a plus three in athletics. Okay, go ahead and make an athletics check for me. Okay, Jumping is athletics anyway. Nah, 20. Nah, 20. Ah, oh, close, close enough. enough. Close oh, enough. shit. <laughs> close enough for practical purposes. Oh, uh, I didn't. Well, you are on top of that tree, even though it won't let me place you there. <laughs> you nice. As you I, just, successfully... like, I just imagine Sam hears the leaves rustle just a little bit like, the fuck? Yeah, you you just hear a little bit of like, <laughs> Dara, how, how did you do that? Sh 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 just kidding. Tell, tell me later. Tell me later. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Sam would just yell, wow. <laughs> yeah, no, honestly, so honestly, if I was a little more in character, yeah, I probably would just be like, oh, go get him. <laughs> resist the urge. Must resist. <laughs> Screaming. <laughs> metal metal <laughs> hand clamped over mouth. <laughs> With how excited Sam gets, uh, they'd probably uh, end up giving up my location. <laughs> and you chose well as you see Bolua charge into the tree, having heard the rustling as you jumped. Um, however, well, you ran into a tree. Bolua appears to be stunned. Not for too long. But long enough. So, Sam and Zira, Aaron Zyre moves this way, heading towards Bolo. It's just like, I can't believe you're going to hurt yourself. Why? Why do you charge head first into the trees? Because he's dumb. <laughs> <laughs> So, Sam, at the very least, you have a clear path. It is 70 feet to the I exit move 50. for you. Uh, I'm assuming the mud is difficult terrain, correct? No. Oh, okay. Then uh, we're going to get uh, right here. Okay. And hopefully the tree will give me a little bit of cover so they don't press the digitate me. Rest to digitate you, and Zira, it is 90 feet to the gate for you. Okay. So, full movement is 60 feet, which could put you at the same tree as Sam. If you're not worried about getting caught up together. Is that what you would like to do? I think her mic came on. Yeah. 
looks that way. For me? Yeah, yeah you guys do. Oh, you look like you dropped something. <laughs> No, my computer's gonna die, so I, I was plugging oh, it in. Okay. Sorry. That's Sorry. Right. Did you want to? Did you want dwellers? <laughs> did you want to move next to me? Yes. No. Uh, maybe so. Yes. Okay. My did my computer die? Boop. No, you're still with no, us. No, you're still there. Yeah. Okay. All right, and uh, one last check here for Ola <gasps> and Aranzar. Hey. Oh no. Uh oh, spaghetti 30 feet though. And to be able to cast, Rusted Digitation only has a 10 foot range. Oh! And cannot catch you at this time. Which means when it is your turn, the two of you see the easy out to the gate as uh, Aranzar. Is chasing you and Bolua appears to be stunned. Yeah, we did it. Chase it. Chase it. <laughs> Cheese and crackers. <laughs> and safely escaping, you see Venetia outside of the gate just pouting. Uh, sorry, <sighs> Venetia. I, I tried to help. I'm certain you did, but clearly you were of no assistance. Well, I could have been if you hadn't, you know, called them over. That's a really nice way of putting it. Well, perhaps you'll be of more use and get caught next time so that I can escape. Sam just shrugs, like, all right. And Aaron's eye is like, listen... You keep failing this. Pardon me, you two. Uh, seek your way to, to a tent. I need to have a conversation with Venetia here. And I, I don't believe you should lecture people in front of their peers. I, I don't think she thinks of us as her peers, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> Get wrecked. Get wrecked. So Sam will head off. Okay. And returning to the library. Oop, I broke it. <laughs> Do Zelza looks at you, Yulia, and is like, and you, and you see, that is how you can cover the materials in this book quite easily. You're saying that the universe wasn't completely made by suburban, and that the world is not, in fact, flat. No, the world has never been flat, and... I was really hoping to sell some like, no, that's still true, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, there's the world turtle. <laughs> the world's a dodecahedron. As well. There's also a white buffalo somewhere, or other, I don't know. Nice. Getting complicated. Yeah. You too. How how well do I take to all of this information? It is a lot to take in because although some of the basics of the religion are there, like suburban still is a believer in caring for others and spreading peace. Um there's not all the commandments about loyalty and subservience to family and your unending support of the church. Suburban's mm -hmm. beliefs all point towards freedom. There's also one interesting part that says, fuck Jeffrey in particular. Ah. <laughs> yep, just big letters, <laughs> fuck Jeffrey. It's an entire page. It's the only sentence on the page. <laughs> it's not in big font either. It's just in yeah. size 12 and it's in the center of the page. <laughs> just like the original manuscript said. Uh, Master, who is Jeffrey? Well, you see, uh, Suburbans is not my primary religion, so I, I don't rightfully know. Perhaps it's a secret you will uncover for yourself one day. Maybe. 
uh, just before I let him go to Joros, I take out the coin that I got from that blonde lady. I'm like, do you have any idea what this is exactly? Because I've seen holy symbols of suburban before, but this is slightly different. Wait, well, yes, yeah, so this is. You received a true holy symbol in your hometown, and they let you keep it. I I didn't tell anyone. I can understand why that it's quite the valuable gift you have there, friend. What does it mean, though? It means you are worthy of his attention. Perhaps something to keep in mind for the future. The future. The future. You have to go back to the future. The future. All right, and yeah. that is where we are going to take a brief ad break. As always, ads don't really do anything for us, but they do allow folks to join us ad free. For, for, for free, baby. For, for, for free. Um, and we swap to our being away moment so that nobody misses any of the action. So thank you for hanging out, and we will be right back. See you soon. Send it. I'm just eating pizza. Send it. All right, Pebo we says, are back. Pebo says send. Pebo says full send. Pebo told us to start the stream again, so we did it as quick as we could. We're back. Pebo. Pebo, please. We're back. We're having fun, right, Pebo? <laughs> and uh, Duzelza wanders off to see you, Waffles, and is like, is everything going well? Oh, yeah, yeah. I love reading books. You... <laughs> and you don't have any problems reading, right? No, no, I, I grew up reading lots of books. I started trying to wave my hand to do to mimic some, some crap I read in like two sentences, but to no some, success. Some somatic components. Excellent, excellent. And and your friend who and turns around. Uh your friend who apparently disappeared. Uh hmm? can you help them read? <laughs> uh you mean the gnome? Rockus? No, no, the the purple one. I don't believe I got her name. Oh, okay. Yulia. Yes, I uh, sure. The one with the wings. Yes, yes, the one with the wings. Indeed. I can help. Can I keep this book? Uh, it, or I'll borrow it. I'll bring it back. You may borrow it and pulls out a small stack of like three pe. I'm going to say cards, but really it's three pieces of parchment affixed to one another to make, like, cardstock. And says, just, I need you to sign your name here, and we'll write the name of the book to say that you have it, in case I need to find it again. You're telling me Zelda invented <laughs> the Dewey Decimal System? Nope, just the, uh, the library card sign-out system. Oh. <laughs> I was hoping Duzelza meant the Duzelza decimal system. The Duzelza decimal system. The Duzelza. Nice. Uh, okay, fair enough. I'm, I'm not accustomed to, to giving things back when I borrow them, but I'll bring it back, I promise, and I send my name. Excellent. Ex your name is Waffles. <laughs> I give, like, a little bow. I see. you pleasure to see the Rackwind folk wandering around Lustra again. It's been many years. Are there others? Uh, we haven't had a Rackwind here, and begins to, like, scratch at the scales on their head. It's been 20 or 30 years, but it's wonderful to have you around. If you have some time, perhaps we could discuss some of the, the Rackwind homelands. Oh, yes, yes. Happy, happy to excellent, do that. Excellent. Ooh. Let me go check on your other friends, and uh, we can chat this evening. And wanders off to the ladder. To go find you, Rockus. Um, he just jumps up the stairs and sees me just eating a bunch of mushrooms from somewhere. 
Oh God! <laughs> um, From somewhere. <laughs> ex- excuse me, Master Stop Gnome. Kibo, these are delicious. No, I don't. My name is not Kibo. My name is Druzelza. Please, ah, hello. Please do not eat with the books in your hand. Uh, first, as I'm eating, I'm feeding my little precious baby boy rock and, person and thing. I, Bebo. I, I see that and just reaches over and takes the crystal. And is like, that. It's you, you can eat. Just, just don't eat while a man handling the belongings here. Well, why, I never. What well, you did though, I watched you do it. That's why. No. What? Gnome handle. What do you mean no? <laughs> uh, 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 I just use prestidigitation and remove all crumbs of uh, mushrooms on my beard. I uh, see. I I ate nothing. You are very strange, <laughs> <laughs> Master Gnome. I I just watched you eat and magic away the. Never mind. Do you why, want some mushrooms? This is why you can't eat in the library anymore. <laughs> it's all Rockus' fault. Yes, Rockus' law. Peebo, yes, I, I did ask him if he'd like some. He refused. I, I did not refuse. If you would yeah, like to I, leave you said, some. You said, no, <laughs> it, it's okay. Peebo understands. Just, you have to be a little bit sensitive to other people's cultures, you know. Everyone's just, like, peeking up upon hearing him yelling, like, no! <laughs> yes, no, I, I understand. You have a friend like Peebo. Peebo is. Peebo is your friend. No, Peebo I... is all of my friends. I don't oh. believe Peebo is my friend, but I have met well, would you like some like him. Peebo, here. <laughs> I just, uh, stretch out and give him, uh, Peebo. Okay, and, uh, you watch as Duzelza, like, scoops up Peebo instead of picking it up by his head like most people would. And just says, oh, oh, greetings, Master Peebo. It is a pleasure to meet you. I see this is the gnome that you are traveling with. I'm certain they treat you quite well. Uh, Rockus looks at Peebo, then looks at you and says, I treat him very well. Isn't that right, Peebo? Fuck. Why that so <laughs> close to Peebo? What are you doing to Peebo? <laughs> Isn't that right, Peebo? Confirm this, Peebo. Uh, I, I reach over and kind of make Peebo's head... Move yes, and I look. Like, See, Peebo, Peebo believes Peebo is totally fine. Peebo, I'm, do you love me? I'm certain yes. Peebo is fine. Otherwise, they would leave you. Yes. You know the yes, he would. The rock sprites are not often one to tolerate indifference or cruelty in their masters or friends. Oh, you do know about Peebo's heritage. Well, yes, I, I know that many people probably believe you just speak to a small man, stone thing. But I take a bite out of a mushroom. I just take out of my sleeve. Is is that for me? No. <laughs> <laughs> I I see. I'm just listening to your wise words. What? Well, yes, and uh, you see, Ebo is the. Probably the tenth of his kind. You see, well, it was quite some years ago that, well, even Master Gilfog brought his rock sprite here. Master Gilfog? What? Ebo. It... As I'm like chewing and mushrooms are coming out of my mouth, we probably found him. No, I'm afraid Master Gilfog is not here, but I'm certain that you could find him. Uh, okay, Peebo, yes, I will ask. Peebo asks, when was the last time you have seen Master Gilfog? Oh, I have not seen Master Gilfog, fortunately. That would be quite the honor for me. I just me. throw Peebo down the stairs. Peebo is upset. 
by that. Hi. <laughs> I've had to mute a lot because I've just been like dying. I know. <laughs> I know. Um... I'm sorry for Peebo's outrageous behavior. <laughs> what? <laughs> Weekend at Peebo! Fucking heated himself. Oh, god damn it! <laughs> please, any information about Archmaster Will Wizard Gilfold, please, please tell me. I, I, I certainly can, but we're going to have to speak about how you treat Peebo. What do you mean, Peebo's right here? He's <laughs> right next to you, in fact. Peebo is just sitting on the bookshelf with a little tiny little adventure book. That says yes, I... how to win over the affection of people. Was... <laughs> Did he just throw Peebo down the stairs? Yeah. I was, I was such an go look... illusion. Some... <laughs> Jarosik like, went to go look at Peebo. He just wanted to know finally, and now it's just... <laughs> I got Peebo is gone. Me. Fish man, of course. I walk We're away. always tricked. Fish man. It's, it's fine. Well, you see... Master Archwizard Gilfog was here <laughs> with Groon, his rock sprite. But ah. I'm afraid that was before my time as the Master Librarian. I was yes. just a young lizard folk in those days, without care for books or learning. Okay. Okay. How old? What? Uh, how old? Well... Oh, uh and starts thinking, you know, go minus seven, carry the two. Uh, what year is it? I give up some random number that Peebo <laughs> gives me. Like 22. Uh, well, negative four. <laughs> oh, it's your birthday today. <laughs> Peebo, come here. What? <laughs> See, Peebo made you a cake. I just pull out just like, a whole bunch of pebbles and just put it in. What is happening? Wait, 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 wait. wait. It's rough. Did, did you just this for last? This is like. Did you just hand Duzelza the pebbles that you used to build Peebo's house? Yeah, I mean, it's your birthday. People I'm not gonna care, right? show up on a birthday party without any birthday presents on their Yo. birthday. Oh, excellent, excellent. And takes the pouch and is like, are, if you are quite situated, are you done eating? Yes, can I have that pouch back? It was just for entertainment purposes. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> but you gave it to me as a gift. Not that one, this one. I just give him another pouch of rocks that I somehow have. Why? I, I see you gave me the wrong pouch of rocks. Sorry. It was a bit moldy. <sighs> Either way, here is your... Here is the, the stone. Uh, please, just gem. take... Yeah, yes, the gem. Stone. Gem, gem stone. You are quite frustrating, friend. <laughs> Thank you. I hope have you have an amazing birthday today. <laughs> Happy negative three. Okay. Uh, this is my favorite character now. And... Isn't she negative four? <laughs> just okay, yeah. just she walks can. away. Well, they'd be negative three now because they're getting older. And <laughs> Did he throw the yeah. rock baby oh, down the stairs? Did, uh, he, did, did the land dweller throw the little rock man down the ladder? Yeah. Peebo, that was a successful social interaction. I'm, I'm not <laughs> certain. I, I thought so, but then uh, then the Peebo was on the bookshelf. Is he yelling it? I heard yelling. I wasn't sure if you were... Y yes, is, is your friend always that strange? I have, I met him y this yesterday. I see. I assume all yeah. land dwellers are strange, but know. especially the short ones. In my experience, anyway. I, uh, well, he seems extraordinarily different. He said today was my birthday. Oh, happy birthday! Throws <laughs> 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 claps him on the shoulder like way happy too birthday. hard. <laughs> <laughs> what? You land dwellers no, do love no, a party. No. We'll have to celebrate. No, I, I'm sorry. that was misinformation. Oh. You, your friend was <laughs> incorrect. 
It's their birthday. It. Still believe he, it. Still believe he backs, it. He backs off like visibly a little like disappointed. Oh. <laughs> Everybody should sing happy birthday. Oh, happy God. birthday. That's copyright. We can't we do it. Play. No, it's not copyright anymore. It's not copyrighted it. anymore. Let's go. No. Oh, let's go. The, the mead is hitting. Um, all right. So <laughs> the river goddess brings you here. Oh yeah. That. <laughs> uh sorry, again, I'm a new steward to the um, That is that is quite all right. I was given and you know, he'll show the holy uh symbol, the medallion that he received. I was given this by a fellow, I suppose, paladin of the order. I don't know what you make of it. Not unlike your holy symbols on your shield there. Oh, yes. These are all quite etched on my own. I, I, it's hard to come across something to carry that many symbols. They, they get weighty after a time. I can't imagine. Now, what do you know? A, a, you are to be a, a cleric, a paladin. What? What was, is your path of worship? I was told I would seek challenge in honor of Zalara. Seek challenge. A paladin you shall be then. You look. You look sturdy and claps you on the shoulder. Jaros is unfazed, but will flex slightly. Not oh. enough to be like showing off, but you know. Excellent. Excellent. A, a solid seafaring man you will be. Seas strengthen us. Aye, and the tide tests us all. Now... Is that, is that the proper response to that? What? Nothing. It just <laughs> it seemed very rehearsed. Is that another religious greeting? Different god? Or, or... I... Uh, it's hard to keep track some days, but it's fine. Very well. You mentioned you could help me commune or pray with Zalara. I, I can. I can indeed. And uh, steps over to this small table. Let's play the can we sit at the table game. On the table? <laughs> Close <laughs> enough. Cheers. Can I get in the stool? Ooh. Hang on, hang on. Can I clip through the stool? No. Okay. I'm going to just, I'll, I'll, I'll be here. Rotate. Okay. Anyway, I keep... <laughs> <laughs> and uh, sets a small bowl of water and pulls out a few river stones and arranges them around the bowl. Those are nice stones. Did you get them for your birthday, perhaps? I, I did not. I collected them myself. You'll find <laughs> she often takes best to offerings that you have put effort into on your own. Seems a bit humble. And uh, shows you the proper arrangement of a set of river stones and a bowl of river water. It says, now, if you sit and listen, the water will begin to move as you listen to the minor tide of the bowl. Offer your prayers to her. Hmm. Interesting. What do you pray to, to, to Zalara for, Zelza? It has been quite some time since I've offered a dedicated prayer, but, well, my brother, you see, was a sea captain, and he did love that stupid boat of his. But, well, you see, he took it out one day, and my brother was just, he would never listen, see. And his boat was quite large, and it turns out that if you're an idiot and you take your boat up river where it doesn't belong, it gets stuck and needs to be disassembled. Oh my. Sounds more of a ship than a boat, then. Oh, quite large. Yes, yes, it's quite large. It was a, a passenger boat intended Imagine to court people between enough. islands. <laughs> Was this the Suez Canal? <laughs> That's all I was Evergreen. thinking of. <laughs> was it called the Evergreen Land? <laughs> no. But, uh. <laughs> and well, I, I prayed to her that he would find guidance, but it appears that the river's current was not strong enough to overcome the stupidity of free will. Stupidity of free will, eh? 
You know the saying, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them go swimming. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, the saying. <laughs> we both like look at each other. All the land dwellers love that one. I don't I probably have it wrong. You know, some of them here, I swear, they teach me the wrong things. They come in and talk about sayings from their homelands, but none of them often make sense. Ah, as much sense as a seahorse, I suppose. <laughs> yes, who believes in seahorses? Girls will just, like, raise, a, <sighs> raise an eyebrow. Hmm. Well, thank you for the guidance and prayer. Uh, I think I know what I shall ask for. Uh, if you have any texts that I could read through, that would also be appreciated. Uh, yeah, yes, certainly, and uh, gathers a collection of books specifically about Zalara. Oh, good. And, it's not uh, a suburban situation. Sets them up. <laughs> no, there's a reason that Yulia was provided with multiple gods. Oof, <sighs> Big now, yikes. if you venerate her properly, Zalara is quite the ally. And I'm certain will bless you with a bit of her own might. That would be most welcome. Might makes right, after all. Might makes right. Another saying mm -hmm. I heard the land dwellers say. Um. Oh, it got dark. Uh, yeah, what has happened? It seems right we've been on. talking for a very long time. And indeed <laughs> you have. <laughs> Keep up. Waffles has just been teaching me how to read better. Pulling his hair out. <laughs> the day has passed swiftly. As uh, a wide array of conversation. And uh, Giselza speaks to you mostly, Joros, but addressing everyone says, you know, each, each evening we have a an opportunity at the, the forge, the, the fire, just outside of the hero's respite, or storytellers, if any of you are so inclined. Are there libations at this event? Well, Remzik runs the bar right there. I'm certain he could pull together some food or some drink. Perfect, and he'll, like, throw the books down, like, bored out of his mind. <laughs> Everyone! <laughs> Let's Charles. get out of here. Yes. I pick Let's up waffles and I here. fly away with him. <laughs> yeah. I'm, like, stuffing my face with all the food I stole. That food is very old now. You should... It's fine. It's from yesterday. It's only a day old. It's like day-old donuts. Was it in your pockets? <laughs> I mean, yes. Oh. <laughs> It it turn around, like waffles and I turn around and our mouths are just full right now. That's, <laughs> that's great. You enjoy that. I'll see you I, at the fire. I take some crumbs and like not crumbs, like a half-eaten donut and offer it to Joros. <laughs> a donut. I don't know what this land dweller food is, and I'm I'm great. Thank you. No, I'm. I should find <laughs> Sam. Actually, you're on a carb-free diet. <laughs> I, I uh, throw Pivo with the mushroom in front of the door. Protein only. Stop throwing people. <laughs> people wishes to give you nutrition. I have never eaten a mushroom. I don't think I'm going to start now. But I have disappeared from this world. Thank you, Pebo and Gnome. You're very welcome. Can I, uh, I just go where the mushroom is? But I've it. it. I run past Joros with, or well, not run. I fly. With waffles okay. on my back. Okay, bye then. Well, Rockus, let's go together then. A bee. Oh no, no, no that, was a, that was one time. That was only not, not not for me. For Pebo. Oh. <laughs> Girl, so like roll his eyes and, and pick up Pebo and put him on his shoulders. Pebo right. wishes to tell you that this is the best day of his life. <laughs> well, oh, to, Pebo. To, to many more, then. Let us be off. And uh, I will go to the fire with Pebo. 
Hopefully, Rock is gone too. I'm not babysitting. No, uh, I'm, uh, just... <laughs> You're just babysitting Peebo now. I can't watch. You're in charge. <laughs> like, I, I'm not ready for this. He's an adult. God. <laughs> Actually, Jorah should stop at the bar first and get something, <laughs> but then he would come back. And uh, you I'm see, this is all the same map. You know, this is all the same map for Peebo. As night gathers, you see Renzik as he tends to the fire, and Arlen sits on the opposite side, accompanied by Aranzair and Venetia. And you can hear Aranzair lecturing Venetia. He's like, You need to take part in things, you must learn to cooperate. There are to be friends. If we are ever going to license you, you must work together. You will not survive the road alone. I don't know how many more times we must tell you. This is your seventh test. I thought you were doing this in private. I mean, <laughs> it is what you said. Not to meta. Sam just walks over to Joros, covered in fucking mud, pulls out a flask. <laughs> hey! It's like How you had a big day. What the is, hell is, happened? Is that a short joke? <laughs> <laughs> no, you smell like smell like the seabed. Swamp. Ah, oh, yeah. I, I smell like it, swamp. It doesn't smell good down there. No, I, I'm definitely gonna have to clean up afterwards. I think um, the wizard could clean you. What were you doing? And he'll he'll he he's had he has a drink, but he'll finish it. And, the flask. Uh, hide and seek, kind of. A little bit? I don't know. Uh hmm. the the elf lady over there uh got caught, so I hopped out and threw some mud at the half fiend demon person and then uh managed to duck behind another tree and uh then Zara jumped from one tree to another. That was amazing. Uh you should ask her about that. That was cool. Um hmm. Oh, but yeah, other than that, uh, we, we, we both passed, I think. I think we passed. I think we won. Look over at Waffles. Sounds like a class you should take, friend. Oh, yes. I'll definitely be getting into some thieving as well. Hopefully you don't get into too much mud slinging. <laughs> oh, I don't like the mud. No, we like to stay clean. I, I, I do too, but, you know, it had to be done. <laughs> I, I'm sure it did. I'm sure it did. Yes, I did hear that man chastising the elf over there. She, she just, I don't know. She, uh, she seems like she could be nice, but is a little too, uh, self-important. Might be the most polite way to put it. Girls will say in Elven, the honor of the elves transcends the trees. What? That was pretty. What does that mean? <laughs> oh, it just means the elves are very full of themselves sometimes. <laughs> ah, I see. Why didn't you just say that in the first place? Oh, uh, well, the elven saying is much nicer. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was very pretty. Uh, I've been meaning to ask, Joros, is, is the shell on your armor? Is that... What's that from? Or is it just armor? From the sea. <laughs> does it have any... Okay. <laughs> Sam's like, like, never mind. Sorry. In time, friends. In time. It's a real Peebo moment over here. Okay. <laughs> what? No, I didn't say Peebo. <laughs> I said, Where's in... that little scamp? Oh, uh, well, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Peebo comes crawling out of the shell. He'll, he'll look at, at, at Zara. Did, did you want to? Give this to your sister to watch, or... Kibo just falls to the ground. No. <laughs> Get back up. No, you're okay. <laughs> <laughs> and you realize it really is just an inanimate object. <laughs> <laughs> Am I going insane? <laughs> Where is that gnome? I'm here. Uh, what? Where? Where? I'm right here. Sam looks straight up into the sky, <laughs> confused. No, yes, no, he wouldn't be up. That's not where you would look. He wouldn't be up there. Uh, do you see him anywhere around us? 
That's why I asked where he was. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You have to look up. The people hide in the trees. You're looking what? into the sky. <laughs> yeah. And we don't know that he can't fly. Hey, I, I, Chris, oh, Chris, that one can fly. Point to Julia. I'm not there. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> she flies away. <laughs> <laughs> No, I go Stand back and search uh, Rockets and Peebo because I want to do something I have Peebo. I was carrying Peebo. Well, I unless, go back for Rockets. Unless I have a fake Peebo. I mean, I don't know. Only Rockets would know. Do I have, hey, your, son? Do I have your son? <laughs> do you have the real Peebo or fake Peebo? Well, the real Peebo, please stand up. Gabigol, do you want like re <laughs> like high, really high uppies for Rockets? Yes. Okay. <laughs> oh, well, Waffles, did you get a haircut? No. It looks like you've been pulling some of your hair out. Uh, Sam, you, know, you can't I, just I say that. That's rude. Uh, <laughs> I just want to know what's happening to my friends. Well, I, I didn't think it was that, that noticeable. Be, that's, yeah, I, whatever you've been doing, I would stop doing it. <laughs> Bit of a frustrating time in the library for all parties involved, I will say. Oh. And uh, Sam will hand over the flask to Waffles. I smell it. I'm like, what? what is this? Uh, <laughs> dwarven whiskey. Whatever, whatever it is, I like what, it. What's a whiskey? I uh, like. Take a, it's... I take a little sip, not really knowing what the fuck it is. Charles's jaw will drop. Damn, Land, like, oh, I can't. Land dweller who knows not of the joys of whiskey. Wow, that's spicy. Mm, spicy. Spicy. I'm gonna pass it down to the next person. Okay, up is. And it'll, uh, Duros will pass it to uh, uh, Zara. How do I say your name? <laughs> Zara. 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 Like zero. zero. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're not a zero to me. Uh, I'll pass it over to Zero. I trust, uh, I trust you know of whiskey, though. Not really. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I... I don't... Joris, I don't know how to say this, but I, I think... Most of these people have been living under a, a rock, <laughs> so to speak. Well, I've been living under the sea. <laughs> under the sea. Don't have and, the rest uh, of that. Seeing you, <laughs> seeing you pass around the flask, Renzik <laughs> walks over and is like, "I would certainly like to try some of that if you're if you're offering." In fact, of course. And uh, pulls off a flask of his own. If you'd like to sample. What is this? Uh, Venezia, would you like some? She just sighs and looks at Aaron's eyes. I don't drink swill. I I didn't make this, so it's not swill. It's let's be honest, dear. It's all swill. It comes That's from spicy. <laughs> Rocket just grabs it, or what? I'm like yeah. doing it. It tastes like spicy water. <laughs> It's it's all swill if what? It's all swill if it comes from this. Dwarves? Wow, you can't just say that. No, I don't think that. <laughs> you can't I, say that on the radio. Is that what I, you mean? Or the training grounds? Joros, I, I think some of our party might be a little racist. <laughs> hey, Bo. <laughs> well, you shouldn't call people little. We've been over this. Got angry when I called you little. No, you, you see, there's just... They're vertically challenged? There's nothing here. There's... You see no wheat, no growth, no vegetation, and yet there's food and drink. What do you make without wheat? Have you heard of commerce? Gluten-free? Gluten-free whiskey? <laughs> Have you heard of rocks? I... I, I... <laughs> I have heard of rocks, friend. Perhaps they're imports. That's what you're supposed to say, right, Aranzire? You call everyone friend, and then they're nice to you? And he just kind of, like, roughs, and he's like, you're, you're doing this all wrong. I swoop you're in, being and an I ass shake Denisia's hand. <laughs> Why the fuck are you... I'm going to have and, a bell uh, on that one. Birds fly, fish fly. Yulia, as you sweep in to shake Venetia's hand, 
She just, oh, how dare you touch me without permission? I, I, I held out my hand. I didn't. This is my, my bubble. This is my space. You do not enter. Well, how, how big is your bubble? Can you see me still? Yes. Then you are too close. Okay. Oh. So what if I fly right above you, but don't look down? <sighs> what, what good would that be? Well, I won't be seeing her. Was the I, one you were throwing mud at? I believe I've had quite <laughs> enough of this. Oh. Good evening. Well, I wanted to make a friend. On the way, mademoiselle, <laughs> Joros will say in Elven. She really has a stick up her butt. Hmm. I was going to say something much, much worse. <laughs> Kiva, and, we uh, can't say that. I wonder. <laughs> no, what did Kiva no, say? I want to know. No, 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 no. Don't. Oh, Kiva is being a little naughty. It's past his bedtime. Oh, right. Being a little spicy. Did Kiva have any of the uh, whiskey there? Oh my god, yes. Give Peebo whiskey. <laughs> it's gonna Sam's work like... out exactly how you guys think it's gonna work out. <laughs> Is Peebo old enough for whiskey? Yes. I don't know who's old and who's not anymore. Here, Peebo, have some drink. I just figured I'd ask his dad, you know? I just dunk him into the whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> how did he fit into a flask? <laughs> just put his arm in. <laughs> Do you like that, Peebo? Do you like that? Maybe this maybe this wasn't a bad idea. You, wait, are you drowning him? He can't drown. He can't breathe He's to begin with. Now, I'm just gonna take him out and just say <laughs> Don't throw him in the fire. It sounded like you were gonna throw him in the fire. No. I have something else for Peebo. So is this like an elaborate joke or it, it I just sounds so malicious about I it? I don't too. understand the land dweller humor here. I really don't know. <laughs> Joros, it's, it's, it's not land dweller. It's just, it's just weird. <laughs> it's just that guy. I think it's interesting. <laughs> he did ask me for uppies on the way out of the library. I, and Sam just, looks up at you like, you. "Can I get uppies?" And it's just like, "We're by the fire. No, you're not getting. Uh, I'm not, you're 26. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> you're not oh going to want uppies. Sam is older than. Okay, that's interesting. I'm supposed to protect you, not." Is everybody going to get uppies? <laughs> I, think I was you're offering too... uppies to Rockus earlier. You're too tall for uppies. Oh, oh, no I one's getting uppies from me anymore. <laughs> and, this is uh, not... Stop saying uppies. <laughs> Renzik, Renzik walks over to you, Sam, and he's like, listen, God. if you want uppies, and just holds out his arms, like, come on. Sam jumps. <laughs> oh, my. And picks, I... picks you up and puts you on his shoulders and uh, begins to run saying? around the campfire. Oh, my God. <laughs> Peebo, you drink. You can't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Peebo could hold anybody. He's a little too small. No, he, he's going to be riding on someone's shoulders. So I, you I seem like this. quite the uh, collective of friends here. Uh, yeah. Friends is a strong word. Perhaps, oh, but you? something binds the six of you together. So like, are also like lean into and look him in the eye and like, and how the hell, how in the hell do you know that? You know, there was a time and a place when I was, and uh, Arlen pipes up across the fire. Father, that's quite enough. No one wants ah, to I, hear your boring stories. I want to hear him. I just asked him about his stupid, boring land dweller story. <laughs> <laughs> well, wait, 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 Joros, can you tell us a stupid, boring sea dweller story? Of course I can. <laughs> well, but after after yay. we hear after we hear the land dweller one, I'm certain that many of you heard my tale. I mean, the tale of the hero last evening. Oh, that really sad story was about you. No, no, certainly not. It's a lost hero. Who gave his life for the cause. Uh-huh. Perhaps I could tell you of catching the cat's tongue. You see, the hero, the same one, mind you, very handsome gentleman. Very strong, too, and uh, Renzik flexes. The hero was quite upset 
that someone had tampered with his daughter and tricked her into touching a teleporting door and waited and waited, sitting in a dark room, flickering the sword that he held. And you see this heavy look come over Renzik's face. Just on and off and on and off, waiting all evening. Yeah, still holding Sam on yeah, yeah. his shoulders. It's getting a, getting a little I'm awkward I'm just kind now. of watching in awe right now, because this story sounds pretty cool. And then the creature appeared. <gasps> with a swift swing of the blade and deft movements from his beautiful and auspicious loving wife. They cut the creature down, got their vengeance. Never mess with a warrior's child, especially one as devilishly handsome as the hero. What was the hero's name? <laughs> it's unknown, although rumored to be etched within the handle wrap of that blade. Has anyone checked? So How do you know that he was devilishly handsome? <laughs> you could have worn a helmet all the time. That is an excellent question, my young tiefling friend. I am quite certain he was one of the most handsome people to walk about this land. But, Sometimes but, you just know. But are, you, are you talking about yourself? And he coughs a little bit. No, no, most assuredly not. I mean, you're like not bad looking. <laughs> Are you hitting on me? I have a wife. Yeah. <laughs> I'm only no. 23, sir. <laughs> that does not answer my question. She's I'm, lewd. I, no, I'm not. I'm not hitting on anyone. What Keep was it this? your pants, Julia. What, what was this? <laughs> oh my god. Rumsberg is really getting turned up now. <laughs> What was this creature you spoke of? Uh, the, the creature is said to be a Rakshasa. Ooh, say that again. It's fun to say. <laughs> rakshasa. <laughs> it is fun to Ooh, say, fun isn't it? Rakshasa. Do any of us know <laughs> yes, what, a, what that is? Oh. Uh, like that is an check? excellent question. Yeah, are any of you trained in Arcana? Of course, Charo uh, isn't. He's well, very no. stupid. Oh, <laughs> 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 Oh, I clap, I clap Rockus on the back because he's going to be coughing. Peepo, please, please. <laughs> you, never young, heard of such young gnome friend, have you heard of such that. a thing? Oh, that. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen um, at least 19 of them. You know that they are incredibly rare. I'll use at least to, to, to stay. what you're saying. Um, but... Rakshasa tend to live their life impersonating others and tricking people into doing their bidding. So it's not uncommon, you think, for a Rakshasa to have something like a teleporting door. Rakshasa. 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 Ah, yes. What do they look like? They look like this. And then just uh, show her Peebo. Oh, Not exchange. It's just Peebo. Yeah, you just see Peebo. So they look do you like see? Rock do you see the features? No. The identifying features of a. <laughs> <laughs> we all say <laughs> Uh, so, what do they look like, by the way? Uh, they are oh. generally tiger-headed creatures in very fancy clothes. With backwards hands. With backwards hands. Most easily identifiable during a handshake, because although the illusion passes them off as another creature, they are unable to disguise their reverse-jointed hands. No, Pima, I won't to you. Eerie. Uh, that's interesting. And and now you, Triton friend, 
What is it? What is your story? They're, so, they're not called sea dwellers. They're called sea settlers. Sea settlers. I see. Well, why does he get called sea dwellers? Because they, they settle to the bottom. <laughs> you sink. Oh well, it's sink or swim now, isn't it? Yes. 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 That does seem. Hey, but but you can breathe underwater, right? Oh yes, I can. So it it wouldn't matter if you sunk or swam. That's quite rude. What? No. No, it's a good question. Oh, I apologize. That is not rude at all. <laughs> there are things that lurk deep, deep in the waters. Sinking and swimming is the difference between life and death. Can you breathe at all depths? Oh, yes. Though the pressure and the darkness deeper you go, well, there are things and depths that I, even I have not seen. Hmm. Have you ever met a very, like, a... What, a super deep triton, or whatever the equivalent would be? An ocean's floor triton, perhaps. Yes. That's... <laughs> he it's don't know a word too good. <laughs> yes, I, I can see that. Uh, I don't know. Gum, have I? <laughs> have you ever met a blobfish triton? Um, <laughs> like it's Kuatoa sorts, or...? Angry yeah, fish. living at the bottom of the ocean isn't very popular for Triton. Not because of discomfort, like it's not a problem for you to be down there. But the the lack of interaction with other society, um, ocean dwelling Tritons tend to be stagnant in their civilization. Like you don't have interaction with outside worlds, so Going there, there's a ton of strange customs, and they're usually easily offended by things like technological advances that you would find in closer to surface dwelling areas. I haven't met any deep triton, nor do I wish to. <laughs> Are they evil? <laughs> no, no, they're just... Is it a silly place? It is a silly place. Silly? <laughs> I wouldn't use the word silly. I would use the word, uh, well, they're a little less uh, acquainted with the customs of trade in the modern world, I would say. But I, no, I don't have a silly, boring story, but feel free to ask me all about where I'm from. I do have questions for you all, where you're from, where you hail from, especially you. Uh, waffles there. I. I've never seen a creature quite like you before. I limited it. Well, no, wait. I'm sorry. I have, haven't I? Yes, you have. Yeah. They're not... So it's not super common. But being so close to Kilmernock, you have seen more than a handful of Raquin. Um, More often than not, they come with very intricately crafted things. Uh, Something that... Their unique stature and very, very dexterous paw hands um, are capable of, of crafting. Well, Joros would then ask if he came from like a family of craftspeople or if he, you know, knew of, I don't know, some random Raquin like he may have bumped into and, you know, doing his little mercantile stuff. Oh, I, I grew up with Raquin. I, uh, we grew up just outside Van Rockburn. Do my parents are merchants. We do a lot of trading with, with the elves and the druids and Van Burn, But we live in the woods. Not a lot of people come visit us. We uh, acquire. I kind of <laughs> wink. We acquire, you know, merchandise and and we trade, trade for what we need. We don't do much fancy magic or anything, but. I I like of, to I like to acquire things too. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> We can we can acquire things together. Sounds good to me. We're pretty humble. I'm I'm only I'm only eighteen years old. We just oh, oh same. Are, they're same. all so young. Oh my! We, we send so our people young. out to to learn about the world and come back. Hmm. Well, should you find yourself in Kilbanuk, do some trade there. All like sorts the of Amish. <laughs> Just like the Amish. <laughs> <laughs> and you, uh, Raucus, right? 
Yes. God damn it. You you see me? I'm I'm playing with Peebo with Peebo right now. I'm just like Yes. Oh Yulia, where are you from? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm from Wave Meet. It's a very small community full of tieflings who worship our Lord and Savior Suburban. And there are, are you... a whole bunch of assholes. I remember the librarian being quite acquainted with the fact that you were Wave Meat. Yeah. <laughs> so wait, do do tieflings make other tieflings? Or do you have human parents or yeah, how does that work? Uh, no, I can't. Okay. okay I'm sorry. Are you asking for a biology <laughs> lesson? <laughs> like, yes. uh, uh, Gum, what did we agree upon for Wave Me? <laughs> Was it like an actual cloister of tieflings, or did they have humans too? Um, I'm pretty sure you said your mom was a human. Yeah, our right? mom's a human. Yeah. Um, <laughs> your father Sam doesn't know this. happened to be a tiefling, and there's a pretty wide mix of people in terms of a racial aspect that live there. Um, tieflings seem to crop up more often than other races, but there's humans, dwarves, elves. I mean, we've met humans, dwarves, and elves, and other people, but I haven't come across people like you, or Joros, or Rockus, Hello. or Waffles. <laughs> so, yes. any of us. You haven't come across any of us. Oh, no, I actually, uh, a group of Raquin tried to rob us outside of uh, the caravan. Yeah, she threw pebbles at them. You were going to stab them. But I didn't. This time. <laughs> <laughs> I chuckle a little bit. Sounds like a less than honorable fight. So, uh, is, is Wave Meat... Uh, I'm, I'm not familiar with that. What What's it like there? I mean, it's nice all year round. Pretty warm. The ocean is there. People kind of suck. Fair weather. Like, really good for flying. I see. Well, maybe we'll get to visit one time. It sounds like the land dwellers there are awful. Or are they sky dwellers? <laughs> I haven't met a sky dweller before, come to think of it. Uh, well, actually, I'm kind of rare among them. Nobody else knows how to fly except for me. They have wings, do they not? Are there any other people with wings in Wave Meat Gum? No. We, okay. Yeah, like Sam no. looks at Zara. I, I think they're related and I don't... This is... I, I don't see any wings on Zara. But it might be like the hair thing. You know, the hair is different. <laughs> Joros, you can't just talk about people's hair like that. Mine well, is luscious it, and wonderful. Yes, yes, we, we've all seen it. Mine is too, but my sister convinced me to dye it purple, so it's just growing back in now. Purple. Also, Sam, didn't you comment on Waffle's hair? Yes. I'm missing a couple Absolutely. of patches. <laughs> I asked what happened to it. Sam called Waffle's bald. Wow. I didn't say bald. I don't think they those are the bald. words you. They didn't say bald. <laughs> you know. So you Distin get distinguished. <laughs> What about well, you, Sam? What's home for you? Uh, I come from Snowmelt. Uh, if you couldn't gather by the name, it's very cold there, and there's a lot of snow. Uh, but we also have a lot of forges to keep us warm. Do you like the snow? I, I do. I, I kind of miss it, but the grass is nice. And, like, you see on Sam's uh, flesh arm, like, they have a tattoo of, like, watercolor flowers with, like, hummingbirds and other, like, Songbirds on it. Oh. I would say you can probably also note that where Sam's elbow is on their mechanical arm, there is a small, what looks like shard of ice that glows blue pretty, pretty regularly. Uh, Sam, your elbow is glowing. Uh, yeah. It it does that. Why? Uh, it helps it move more. 
gives me more natural movements. How, uh, does, my... gl how does glowing help? What? Well, it's it's a it's shard. I I I'll be honest. I I'm not smart enough to really understand it. Uh, but it it just helps me make more articulated movements, and you'll see like Sam move their fingers. My my old hand uh was more of a fixed position, so I could uh grab things with it by using my other hand to close the fingers, and then it would stay in that position. But I couldn't open and close it on its own. Who made that for you? The magic? Uh, I guess it is, um, uh, it was made by one of my mothers and, uh, D Dedrick? Dedrick? Dendrick. Dendrick. Dendrick the Frendrick, yeah. Uh, a, a dwarf named Dendrick. And, uh, as you're talking about your arm and showing the articulation, Arlen, like, rushes over and grabs it and almost hyperextends your shoulder. Uh, hey, 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 easy. Garos would, like, stiffen up if she, like, ran over and, like, reach out to, like, hey! But, but look at this! Look at this marvel! Like, Sam just looks over at Joros, like, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, yeah, uh, you, thank you. And uh, Renzik is like, Arlen, we've talked. You can't just grab. You have to ask. <laughs> that is it attached. It's, it's okay, and Sam will just detach it and let Arlen look at it. Feeling this is probably less it, likely to end in shoulder pain than just it comes off. Oh, uh, yeah, I didn't know that. I I usually don't sleep with it on just because uh, if I spin, I can punch myself in the face, and it it hurts a lot more than a normal hand does. Uh, I'd watch it. I'd watch that arm of yours. Uh, somebody's gonna end up stealing it. I. Uh, yeah, that's fair. And you watch as uh, Arlen smacks. Renzik with the arm. <laughs> it's like, uh, yes, this is this is quite wonderful. Wow. And now uh, it's a party. Kind of like spins it over. Have you have you investigated this? Do you know how it functions? Uh, I I I just got it um about two days ago, so I haven't had a whole lot of time to look it over. But if you see something that maybe I don't. I'm willing to let you look at it. I see. I see. Uh, just, uh, you see, do you see this here? And she points to what looks like a, a holding pin and a screw matched together at the wrist joint. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, I believe I'll, I'll let you, you do the, the, if you need tools, come see me. Okay. So a pin and a screw? Yep, there is a holding pin and a screw um, set at the pinky side of the wrist in that arm that she is recommending you look at. Okay. Your, your name was Arlen, right? Y yes, yes, and... If you follow the path, uh, your friend slept by the water. Our, our cavern for the blacksmith is just down there. If you need any tools or anything, we're... Well, I'm pretty much always there if I'm not sleeping, and I don't sleep a lot, so I'm pretty much lived there. I, I see. Um, is, are there showers or anywhere to clean ourselves? <laughs> uh, well... Perhaps Duzelza could could press to digitate, and uh, Aronzire just steps a little closer. Is like, D don't worry, I I will. Uh, waves his hand, press to digitating you clean. Oh, thank you, thank you very much. Your um, arm smell. Can 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 you make me smell like lavender? Perhaps I I could do something like that. And uh, you see him muddle about in a couple pouches and fling a, a puff of light purple at you. And as it hits, you just see it settle into an almost cape of flowers around you, and you have a faint lavender smell. Ooh. Ooh. I love cool. lavender. Oh, Arlen, I have something else you might like. And I'll, like, pull out my little bag and then pull out the big case. 
You have a bigger arm. Uh, not quite. That would be funny. This is my gun. big arm, <laughs> <laughs> and then I just pull out my gun, like ah. Make sure you wave Safely. it around a little. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Sam is very safe. We've all been drinking, you know. And uh, Arlen looks at it, and she's like, "This is, this is glorious. You almost have a complete, you almost have a complete piece here. I need a firing pin and a hammer. I see, and." Uh, you see as she rummages about in a couple of the pouches that she's carrying and pulls out the hammer to a much larger gun. Oh, God. And is like, I, I, this might not work, but do you think this shape is the correct... Do you think it's appropriate? I could adapt this, perhaps. Uh, the, if Sam, I... I have no idea. Like, so, I assume it does. So Yeah, so vague yeah. knowledge. Um, it looks like it is made for a larger shell gun. Okay. Um, but other than the scaling aspect, it looks like it is appropriate for what you would be looking for. Uh, and um, Yeah, we would just need to take it down uh, to scale for mine. Oh, uh, excellent. Ex- um. I'm going to work on this and immediately heads off. Oh, I, okay. Thank you. You gave your arm back, right? I, I think so. Yes. <laughs> no, I give you Peepo's arm. You get Peepo's. <laughs> it's, it's too small. <laughs> too small. All right. And uh, as everyone heads off, to bed for the evening. Is there anything else you would like to accomplish before the night is over? Uh, do we have any more alcohol around here? I mean, you have a full tavern. I bring a tankard to Krognalar's tent. <laughs> Are you telling Renzik that that's what you want the tankard for? Yes. Okay. Um, oh my. Informing Renzik that you want to bring a tankard to Krognalar. He's like, no, 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 not, not that one. And goes under the bar and comes back with this horrendously beaten metal tankard. This is the only one that Krognalar is allowed to handle. That seems kind of mean, but all right takes back the clay tankard that you originally had. Okay. But he's like, listen, it's not... It's, and I can't say it's not anything personal. It is terribly personal, but... Regnar How many is, tankards have you lost? Tankards, tables, floors, the bar, some plates. I'm pretty sure he broke my bed once. Oh my. Not, no, not, not like that, but. <laughs> that is not where my mind went, but all right. You land dwellers are always getting into it. Krognalar is incredibly clumsy. And Very strong. <laughs> yes, but also very unaware of, of his surroundings. No, I'm trying to be nice to him because I felt like I was being mean to him earlier, okay? Uh-huh. There's no flirtation going on. I'm, uh-huh. I'm certain that you have all heard his moniker already. Master Violence. Yes, please, for his sanity, refrain from calling him that. Oh, Arlen oh. told us to call him that. <sighs> Yes, I am most sure, certain that she would. However, please do not, for our sanity. It will only go poorly. You see, Kroglar is not violent of his own accord. His... <sighs> Arlen started calling him that when he broke four tables and 13 chairs in one evening. And he merely stumbled down the stairs. It was not his fault. 
but he does take quite poorly to that name. Well, thank you for the warning. I go back to the tent. I just that knock, maybe? Knock on the, on the tent. tent post? Yeah. yeah tent post. Oh, okay. <laughs> and you find Krognalar's tent empty. Okay. Well, I guess I leave the tankard with a hastily scribbled note saying, sorry for calling you bad names earlier. Here's, t here's some mead for you or whatever you drink. Here's some mead for you. Here's some alcohols. All right. Is there anything else anybody would like to do? Like to I also go over to uh, Venezia's tent and say goodnight. <laughs> <laughs> what a dick. Ended on that. That's perfect. <laughs> All right. So you say goodnight to Venezia and hear the heavy flap of the tent as she ties it shut. And that's where we're going to wrap for the evening. I whisper in there that we're going to be best friends. <laughs> what? Who knew summer camp could be so fun? Right? I know. <laughs> All right. So that's where we're going to wrap up for the evening. Thank you to everybody for joining us. Thank you to the players for coming out this evening. And we are going to go on a raid to Todd Moodmount. Who? who is currently playing a tabletop game called Mothership, which is a sci-fi horror RPG that Ooh. we will be featuring this Sunday as part of Maker Mayhem. Sunday. Maker Mayhem! Maker Sunday. Mayhem. So, also, big thanks to the Dungeon Master Gum Malo for hell hosting yeah. Oh, yeah. As always. Hell yeah! Hell yeah, brother. All right, so thank you again, and uh, we'll see everybody back here on Wednesday.